Hey YouTube, what is going on? This is Tonic and welcome back to my channel Bing Bing Potato! And welcome back to Stories The Path of Destinies. We are about to enter into the next storyline. We can pick between going after more parts for the Sky Ripper or going and saving Zenobia and trying to make friends and you know build up our entourage I guess you could say. But guess what? We're going for the Sky Ripper. That's my, I'm set on the Sky Ripper, so let's do it. It was a no-brainer. He'd sacrificed his old friend Lapino to get the armature. And the armature was useless by itself. Only a series of coils and wheels. War demanded sacrifices. And he would make more before the end. He would have to choose the greatest good, no matter how much it cost him. Zenobia. Well, he would see her sooner or later, across the battlefield or a sword's point before all this was over. He was sure of that. The power was in the core. Obviously, he had to get the core. Had to get it. So yes, we had to get the core. It makes no sense going for the first part of the Sky Ripper and not continuing that storyline. So that's one of the great things about this game. It's got very good replayability. So you can go back later, start over, and go back through and choose different stories. All right, Facebook, get off the, the screen here, bud. They were so big and so old. They'd been there before he was born, and they'd be there after he'd passed into legend. Was he confronting his own unimportance? What had got into him? He was no philosopher. Anyway, who cares? He was plenty important. He was a hero, and soon he'd prove it. Oh, yes, we will. What's going on over here with the fireflies? Get the Sky Reaper core. All right, I'm ready to kick some butt. All right, so there's our ship. That's where we landed. <laughs> Nothing to slice and dice here. Ah, chest. We need the chest. We're gonna need some more cores, some more pots. I wonder what I could make with all these sword crafting materials, thought Renato. I wonder. We must go to a workbench, we gotta get this sword upgraded. We got enough ores to do it. That's a pretty waterfall. Oh yeah, I think I, got, I think I can dash now or something. Yeah, the X does the dashing. So it uses a whole bar of stamina down there in the bottom middle of the, bottom middle of the screen when you do that. Let's go over here. Anything we can do, yes. What okay. were these poles exactly? Parking meters from the time of the lost gods? <laughs> Parking meters. Thank God they don't charge us, I don't have any change. Do not have any change whatsoever. Take me back. Alright, now let's go over here across the bridge. Ooh, what is this? Jump down into there. Um. I guess that's the only option we have. Oh wait, there's something across here. Uh, that's one thing about this game I've learned is definitely explore every it's nook and really cranny. Nice chests. You should take one home, he thought. <laughs> it would look good in the living room. Yeah, let's take that chest home and put our things in it. Put our, I don't know, hats and shoes in. Now, what would you use that for? I don't really know. It's a fancy chest. Very gloomy music and something gloomy is gonna happen. Gloomy! Alright, let's go this way first. There was something sour in the air. Like the earth had ruptured over something Ooh. that had been fermenting for a very long time. Yeah, it looks like um we've got a lot of green farts over here. Green farts. Oh wow, we're up to 53 ores now. Let's go back and check out this green... Whoa, what's this? Something shiny flashed at me. Oh, it's just the lighting off of those little gems. It's crystals. Very cool. Very distracting, because, you know, if I see something shiny, I'm going to go find it. Right, 
looks like we have everything uh, this way. Now let's go into the cave. I'm ready to fight something. I haven't had any monsters yet. Gonna slice and dice. Or a workbench would be good. We just agree to disagree, said Renato. No. Come here, baby. <laughs> Slice and dice. I love it. The fighting in this game is amazing. Oh, I missed that one. Boom, baby. Leveled up. There were fewer and fewer trees. There are only these huge crystalline growths. Had those been here before? He no longer heard birds except for the feverish cawing of the ravens when they attacked. He couldn't smell the small animals of the forest. The mice and the rabbits. Where had they gone? And he was getting hungry too. This was an unhealthy place to be. Okay. Let's we'll see where this takes us. Renato felt like he was ready to learn new things. <laughs> Thank goodness he didn't have to go to school for that. <laughs> all right, altar, nice. What can we be? All right, with combos. Perfect strike. Attack immediately when the previous attack hits to land a perfect strike. Bonus damage and double combo bonus. Awesome. No more skill points. So now we can do some combos. I like it. I am ready to upgrade a sword. Haven't been able to do that. Very anxious. Oh, yes. <laughs> ah, got me, you dirty bastard. Oh. I left myself open too long. Whoa! I need some health. Bad. I'm down to 20. Those guys hit me a lot more than I've been hit before. Hmm. Got a little cocky, I think. Ooh, what have we got? Is this the core? We've already found it? Wow. The 20-sided core made him feel physically sick. Once he had sneaked into a temple of the dark arts and he hadn't liked what he smelt and saw there, this felt like that. As quick as he could, he wrangled the icosahedron into the armature. The wheels began to spin, then glow. The sick feeling quickly spun away. Now he only felt sad. He had lost good friends for this war apparatus. He carried his prize back to the Farfarer. Now he had to make his next move. There was a key Imperial outpost on the Nexus. If this really was some sort of super weapon, he could use it to wreak havoc on the enemy. And if it wasn't, well, better to know that before the final battle. Maybe he should show it to some scientists first. There was an observatory on the Nexus. Ooh, interesting. Maybe he should go there before he fired it. Hmm, scientists? Or attack it. Alright guys, I'm going to pause here before I make my decision. I want to check something out. I will be right back. Alright, I don't know about you guys, but I am... The kind of person who likes to know if something works before he uses it. This is why I'm going against that and picking, let's go attack the outpost now. Let's do it. Renato had never been much let's of a go. student. Let's live a little. At Swordfu School, he'd never read the books, just looked at the pictures. Hmm. And Zenobia. <laughs> but weapons he understood. 
His gut told him that the Sky Ripper would work great. He would use it to take out the Imperial outpost. And what's the worst that could happen? The thing wouldn't work, and then he'd take it to the scientists. Right? <laughs> exactly. Hey, this is broke, man. Fix it. It's the best way to do things. <laughs> That's why we do it for men. We take it out of the box. We throw away the instructions. We try to use it. We break it. Can't find the instructions, so we take it back to so let somebody fix it. So we're going to do that now. So I'm sure that's probably what's going to happen. Would not doubt it. Come on. Sky, don't do this to me today. As he set out down the path, Renato wondered why the parts of the Sky River had only surfaced now, thousands of years after the Transcendent Emperor had discarded it. This Emperor, Isengrim III, had performed terrible, bloodthirsty rituals to invoke the Lost Gods. Perhaps that was bringing up lost artifacts. How perfect, then, that the Sky Ripper would reappear to be his destruction. Yeah. Sky Ripper will get revenge. All right, we're using the altar for no reason. Okay, for no reason, we have nothing to do. All right, let's ride it up, baby. There was an inscription. No spitting. <laughs> How did they know me that way? I would sp try to spit off of that. That would be fun. I would love to find a workbench to upgrade this sword. Come on, game. Let me upgrade my sword. See what's over here. Gotta get our chest of goodies. Renata had a lot of crafting materials. Now all he needed was a crafting bench. I agree. Completely agree with your assessment, storyteller. We need a workbench. Awesome. Gotta get that. Oh, it didn't revive my health from the last round. Oh, I'm glad I did this then. I was not paying attention. Okay, we would have died pretty quick on this part if I hadn't noticed that. Alright, where to? Whoa, let's move, let's move. That was always a rush. Hero sword, engage! Oh, what's that? Avoid the warlock's fire spell. It will damage everyone in the area once it explodes. Got him! <laughs> you ain't getting me this time, bud. Nope. Nope. Boom, oh, baby. Yes. Oh, surely I would have got enough to get our skill point. Come on, game. What? Come on, man. I got hit a lot more than I thought there. Jeez. I am taking so much more damage now. This, I guess it's getting a little harder. Alright, our health's back up to 100. Whoa, don't do that yet. Let's see what's over here. Got a chest. Haha. -ha. More goodies for us. I love that hook shot. So zippy, it's like quick, boom, boom, zip, zip. He was tired of slaughtering ravens. Maybe it was time to test out the new weapon. Ooh. He turned a knob on the Sky River. It made strange mechanical noises. The wheel spun faster. It began to hum. The Sky River was following his every step. 
At least it acknowledged him as the master. But there was no trigger. How was he supposed to fire it? Fire, he said. Nothing happened. Well, maybe it just needed to warm up. After all, it hadn't been fired in thousands of years. <laughs> it's a possibility. Might have to get her cranked up. Give her a little warm up, see what she does. Let us ride, Clyde. Let us ride. The Sky Ripper had been built by the Transcendent Emperor. To figure it out, he just <laughs> had to think like a legendary demigod. Yeah, that's simple enough. Hmm. That actually wasn't as helpful as it sounded. <laughs> yeah, that is not very helpful at all. Oh, yes, the workbench. A crafting bench. Renata wondered what he could make with it. Swords. Look, badass is our current level. Now we need one that allows us to heal ourselves. Hold R2 to activate magic swords. Swords consume energy while activated. To switch swords, use the D-pad, left and right. Alright, so we can hold that. That'll give us our health. Collectors require materials to craft sword. Oh, we can do enemy on fire here. This burning sword from the south was terrific for barbecuing sausages and ravens. <laughs> Beautiful. Now we have the fire sword. We can switch it out to hero sword, fire sword, like that, and it can heal us. Awesome. Oh, yes. I am ready to tear some things up with this fire sword. Ooh, there's a red chest. Oh! Just stay on fire, baby. Oh, we had to hit R2. Haha! <laughs> Leveled up that time. The Ripper was making a whining noise now, and its wheels were spinning so fast he could no longer see them. Bernardo had a thought. Ooh. Please? He asked. The Sky Ripper began to glow. Boom! The outpost burst into flame. Yes. Raven flapped out screaming, wings on fire. <laughs> the base was his. The fire speaker toad came hopping out. Renardo! It croaked, sounding like a toad version of Zenobia. Don't use the Sky Ripper. It will destroy the world. <laughs> yeah, sure it will, cracked Renardo. Pull the other one. If you don't trust me, go see Calaveras. That sounded sensible. Why did she always have to sound sensible all the time? Oh, it was infuriating. Of course, she would say that. He was supposed to hurry and bring the Sky Ripper to the Council so the Rebels could actually win the war. But what if she was right? Damn it. Damn it, indeed. Okay, so... We have a choice to make. Go see Calaveras. Or we can take the Sky River to the Rebels so they can win the war. Um, we'll make that decision on the next video, guys. On episode number four. So hopefully you enjoyed episode number three. I appreciate you watching this far. If you're here, please leave a like. If you enjoyed, please leave a comment down below. I love hearing from you. I will always reply to your comments. Trust me on that. Subscribe if you're new. And tune in next time when we play some more Path Stories. The Path of Destinies. Here on Bang Bang. Potato! See you on the next one.